As the Ministry of Agriculture seeks to revive the agriculture industry, it is taking a closer look at all crops under production from root crops to various vegetables and spices. A particular type of farming that's becoming popular in the country is greenhouse farming. The national properties and other self-employed farmers are now taking advantage of this farming practice. We hear more about greenhouse farming in this report by Christine John, who was part of a media tour on the leeward side of the island earlier this week. Building a greenhouse is one way of nurturing plants in a more technological environment. The benefit of greenhouse farming allows persons to control the temperature and humidity, a manipulation that allows persons to grow vegetable all year round. Greenhouse farming is practiced at the Peters Hope Estate managed by the National Properties. The water used for these plants come directly from a water catchment in the mountains. From the beginning with the water, um, it's at Broad's End, it's um, something like a dam and it runs from the stream up in the mountain. We took pipelines and we brought down the water to the point at the road, um, lead that into a tank where it is being stored and um, a connection that is open that brings the water directly over here to the greenhouses. What you're seeing here is cucumbers that um, has start bearing and flowering. Um, it is being conducted in this sort of system so that um, as you run the cucumbers on the lines, um, we would have the, the fruits off of the ground um, so that pests and anything would not be able to attack the fruits. Chairman of the Agriculture Committee in the National Properties, Dr. Gerald Thompson, said it is their hope that the production from the greenhouse can go beyond domestic use and be exported to the region as well as a commercial basis. As we start to export, whether it's to Trinidad, Barbados or the UK, that this facility can help form the core of being able to make you know, make sure you are supplying um, uh, what is necessary to fill containers and so to go in, in, in these, these areas. Minister of Agriculture Soboto Caesar commended the national properties for embarking on the greenhouse project, noting that one of the ministry's focus for 2013 is to ensure food security. From the financing from the banana company measures, we are expecting three similar parks to be established in St. Vincent and the Grenadines where we can normalize and have a sustainable and viable production locally of vegetables. What this will do is that it will reduce the price volatility in vegetable production and we can both buy local, eat local and we can also have more farmers engaged in the greenhouse technology. I must note that um, there are many young persons who are graduating from the technical college and they are being trained at the technical college in this sort of technology. And this is definitely going to bring significant benefits as a nation as we seek to involve and to engage more young persons in agriculture. Noting that greenhouse farming is not the traditional type of farming, Caesar said the ministry understands its significance to the development of the agricultural industry. As a government, we are going to ensure that we have a very important and significant marriage between the technology which is available internationally so that the labor force, the young labor force, can be encouraged in agriculture. Kristen John Dean reporting for SVG TV News.